Alright, so hoping this audio works because it's pretty loud in this gym. This is the first gym sesh back in the past, I'd say, week or two since I was in Thailand in Bangtao. I did a couple of bits and bobs there. And so, yeah, just I've been doing calisthenics for the last couple of days, so time to see if I can take advantage of some stuff in the gym. I'm gonna be pushing hard on bench, a bit of shoulders, a bit of back. This is actually a really cool gym, it's just very compact. It's basically squeezed onto like two little rooms. But the, the kit is actually fucking high tech, so we'll see how this goes, see what kind of weight we can throw around, and uh, yeah, take it from there, hit a good lift, get a good pump. To be honest, the hardest thing is with my leg right now. I have no leg drive whatsoever because my knee is absolutely fucked. But we'll see how it goes. I reckon I can still throw around a couple of plates just fine. Yeah, not too bad. I think we're good. All right, so prior to all these, this uh, nice little bad boy of an injury here, I was pushing around, around like, I could do 100 kilos, so what, 225 for all the Americans, for easily three or four sets of like eight to 10, pretty easy, like RPE eight. If you don't know what RPE is, go look it up, it's basically a scale of like, how difficult you think it is. 10 being, you went to the absolute point of extreme whereby the last rep was complete failure. Eight means you still had one or two decent reps maybe left in the tank, you know what I mean? So let's see what no leg drive, not being able to fucking push into the ground because of my leg, and just having to go with raw fucking bench press and see what we can do. I reckon I can probably get about six pretty easy. Any more than that, I'll be, I'll be impressed. A couple of weeks off and injured. Let's see what we can do. As expected, yeah, sort of eight reps, solid. I'd say that eight one was a bit of a struggle, but I think it's all right. All right, so I'm doing a bit of a couple pull-ups in between sets, just because uh, why not? I feel like get a bit of a pump in the back, gives you a more solid base on the bench. Doesn't really affect my ability to bench because it's like an opposing muscle group. So I think it's always good. If you can, do a bit while you do that. In terms of like rest times and shit, if I'm doing heavy like sets and I'm pushing hard, like on this bench rest right now, then typically I'm getting, you know, at least like, three minutes of good rest. Like, I find that's kind of like the sweet spot, somewhere between like two and a half to four minutes. Past like three and a half, you, know, you don't really need much more than that, so. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. And then, you know, just chuck some pull-ups in between, you'll be absolutely fine, honestly, you've got nothing to worry about.
That was fucking dangerous, but it's fine. It's never dangerous. You can always just throw the bar off your chest. Sam Sulek style. This video is kind of Sam Sulek style, but I try to somewhat make it my own. All right then, so for pull-ups, luckily we've got some very nice rotating super high knurling grips here, which is very great. When I was back in the UK, I was doing weighted pull-ups for sets of 10 with like, honestly, an additional like 20 or so kilos. So doing uh, body weight is pretty chill for me. Well, I'm not, I'm just gonna work up to putting on weight and I don't have a weight belt with me. So for now, body weight, crank them out as many as I can or thereabouts. And then there we go. Pretty chill, but fuck me, that knurling is that knurling is fucking sharp. It's gonna be shredding my hands, bro, shredding them. All right, about four minutes rest time, including the about a minute it takes to do a set of bench. So let's do this, shall we? You're having this mic is not the most convenient thing in the world. I think this is why you see. Sam too, they do it with a hat on. That way it's just easier to keep it all in one place. The camera angles will be like from here, but bleh, it's fine. Third set, last set, just make it good. Lift strong, we'll be fine. You can tell everything in this gym is so new. This is how sharp all the fucking knurling is. Shredding me up, man. Two more. Here we go, suicide, right side. And yeah, since it's the first set back, I'm not gonna push it too much. Honestly, there is barely enough space in this gym to even be able to do lateral raises without hitting something. But I'm gonna do my absolute best. Sweat in my fucking eyes. Honestly, I think side delts are one of the easiest and best bang for your buck exercises you can do. Like, just it's good for your entire shoulder development because you're never truly isolating only the side delt. Like, you're always doing a bit of front delt. You're even probably doing a bit of rear delt. It's just all round 
great exercise. And you don't even have to go too heavy. Like I'm just using tens, focusing on like mind muscle connection, just like getting solid reps in. You can pick up some 15, you know, 15 or more kilo, I guess, which is what, like 30, 40 pounds, and just throw that around like if you want to, but I think you don't need to. I don't think you need to tax yourself so much. Just make sure you're going to failure, so that's the important thing. I was doing, uh, I did another set of lateral raises with the dumbbells, and then I realized there's a machine. Or oh, you can do some cool shit with this. So I thought, let's jump on here, do a little set. It's rare that you get up a nice machine like this, so. Okay, one more of that, one more. All right, we've got a guy behind the camera recording. <laughs> we'll do the Sam, the Sam Sulek style, but with a cameraman. All right. Go to failure, Sam Sulek style. Boom. Thank you very much. If you want to show you, PT win, PT win. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's do some rows, baby. Ain't nothing but a peanut, lightweight. To be fair, it's quite lightweight. It's like 30 kilos on each side, but it's fine. We'll get it done. Can always go heavier. Oh, these machines are so awkward. I can't put it here. I feel like that right there proves the point that you'll see in the video I'll upload either before or after this, speaking about calisthenics versus free weights and the gym, which is that. In calisthenics, once you get very proficient and you can do 20 pull-ups, 30 pull-ups even, it just gets so dull doing that many pull-ups in a row. Like you just get to a point where you don't even really hit failure, you don't even want to stop. You just can't be bothered to do more, any more pull-ups and it's more like endurance training than it is actually like putting on muscle and breaking it down. So if you go too light and therefore you're having to do too many reps, I'm not saying it doesn't work, it does work. It's just a lot less efficient because you're having to do, what I do there, like maybe 25, 30 reps as opposed to just like putting heavier, you know, putting on more weight and just 
bashing out eight to ten real quick, you know what I mean? It's much more efficient in my opinion, so yeah. Alright, I'm aware of um, my SD card potentially filling up so I didn't film all the sets, but this is current physique right now. I think goals for this year, bring up the, uh, bring up lower body more. Otherwise, I'm happy with shape to be honest, it's more about being functional um, and doing that. Let's see if we can get a bit better here. There we go.